Now, the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Had some hazy sunshine today, but at least the air quality again still in the yellow category, which is good news. But a lot of cloud cover developing during the day. Finally seeing it showing up in our time lapse looking towards the west. We had some of those blue skies earlier, but then the cloud cover kind of winning out today. Mostly cloudy skies ahead of a pretty early storm system. It's uh, late August, and we're typically getting a lot of sunshine and not much happening, but it's pretty active just offshore, and we're going to get a taste of that as well. We're seeing some of the cloud cover right now. I want to show you our fire map across the northwest because I got to tell you, it's just amazing all around the region. We'll take this full screen so you can get a closer inspection here. We're going to focus in on north central Idaho right in this region here. Notice all the yellows and reds. That's fire activity that's been coming in. Uh, this is uh, the Riggins area right in here. We'll look at the TP Springs fire in a moment. But look at all these fires in northern Idaho, northwest Montana, northeast Oregon as well. A lot of activity here. A little less activity in that fire that had a lot of smoke in eastern Oregon. That's important because after the weekend, our wind is going to shift to the west from west to east. That will bring smoke that could bring smoke into the Treasure Valley. We'll have to watch it to see how the activity occurs here. But much cooler weather, and there's going to be some rain in northern Idaho, so stay tuned. I'll keep you posted on that. This is the TP Springs fire. The red is the active burning, and look at this huge area, and you can see which way it's going. The black is the older burning, more than 24 hours ago, and it is headed right towards the river here. And so, again, this is a large area under the gun. That's why they're focusing up in these locations. Let's take a look at that uh, air quality. And again, the forecast for today was in the yellow category. That's where we have been, and tomorrow, 70 as well. We still have the mandatory burn bans for um, outdoor burning, but this wood stoves are now okay as things are getting a little bit better around the region. Once again, we still have a lot of fires and smoke up to the north, but we'll have to see if we can get some of this cooler weather in to really start to change things. Here's what's going on in McCall 80 degrees for the high temperature today, and not bad at all, low down to 47. Stanley Sun Valley area, all well around Sun Valley, uh, good visibilities as well at 85 degrees, low this morning down to 50. Comfortable temperatures, but cooler weather is on the way. In the meantime, clouds are racing in from south to north. Those will continue to move from south to north throughout the region. And again, that 93 in Mountain Home, the hotter temperature, we were above 90 in Boise earlier, near 90 in Twin Falls. We're getting some isolated rain showers. With a cold front coming in, we have a red flag warning, not for the Treasure Valley, but for the East Central Mountains, gusty winds and dry conditions as that frontal system moves in. But all this moisture tracking through right now will give a few lingering showers. But this is the system right here that we're watching. Pretty active storm system right in here coming along the jet stream, and this will wrap a cold front into the region, and that will really drop our temperature, bringing out the heat and bringing in the cooler weather. So 91 for the high temperature tomorrow. The chart's saying 79 is what I expect for the day on Sunday, and look at this cooling up around the fires to the north where there's going to be some rain around as well, which is great news. Take a look at the rainfall even through Monday here. And this is at Monday, 9 o'clock in the morning. Look at the rain in northern Idaho and a soaking in western portions of Washington. So that frontal system will be to our west tomorrow. That means it's still warm. Warm, but this is Sunday's weather, the cooler weather moving in. Treasure Valley looks like this. Temperatures from the upper 80s to lower 90s. Lots of sunshine during the day. Then the clouds come in in the evening. 730, watch out. We could get some rain showers around. While the west central mountains, we'll see temperatures near 80. Boise County around 90. My Magic Valley forecast, 93 in Twin Falls. Watch out for a couple of showers tonight. An evening storm is not out of the question tomorrow as well. And look at this forecast coming up in the mountains here. Or I should say in the Treasure Valley. A chance for a shower tomorrow night. We cool way down to 79 on Sunday. Next weekend could be real cool as well with temperatures dropping and some mountain locations will be in the 60s. This is what the doctor ordered. Good news from Northern Idaho. All right, thanks, Scott. A show of wartime power meant to keep the peace up next. A massive military drill highlights U.S. firepower up close. You're watching Six on Your Side.